Um, so I'm super happy that y'all came out tonight for the screening of 31. Uh, the man I'm about to bring up to the front needs no introduction. Probably if you're here, you have an idea of who this person is. Um, so without further ado, the director of 31, Rob Zombie. Exciting to be here. This is this literally is the world premiere of this movie. No one's really seen it. I mean, I've seen it a million times. Yeah! I have to. And um, it's, it's fucking great. I mean, basically the entire cast flew in for this. They're so excited to be here. Um, it's been a crazy ride. I mean, we didn't a year ago we hadn't even started the movie, so it came together super quick. And it was one of those weird movies. You know, sometimes you make movies and you don't know what the fuck's going on. And um, well, the cast no idea what's going on. I remember when I finally finished cutting it together, I showed it to my wife, Sherry, and she was like, oh, I didn't know what the fuck you were doing. This turned out great. So I hope everyone else feels that way. You know, thanks to anyone who was part of the crowdfunding, that became very instrumental in being able to make what well, you'll see a pretty fucked up movie. That was super helpful. And, um, I don't know, man. It's fucking midnight. I don't want you to fall asleep, so make this thing going. Yeah. 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 Oh, you are. Yeah. That's all good. Don't forget to turn off your cell phones and stick around, and we'll be a Q and A after the screen. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for sticking around. <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, if you want to bring anybody else up. saying that probably my favorite part of the movie but why in the sweet name of baby fucking Jesus does the Nazi midget speak Spanish? <laughs> Poncho, why do you speak Spanish? Pancho, I believe you should just explain it to him in person in the alley. Bring a baseball bat and make your point clear. Uh, red hat? I actually love the uh, Nazi speaking midget. That was awesome. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry, Spanish speaking. Uh, uh, Nazi. You already dug yourself a whole key going. <laughs> what, was, uh, what was your biggest uh, challenge on this production? I mean, the biggest challenge was we shot in 20 days, which is, you know, considering, I mean, that's a joke. I mean, it's like, how long did it take to shoot a freaking music video? Um, you know, I mean, I thought Devil's Rejects was a quick shoot, and that was 30 days, so you lobbed almost two weeks off the schedule. It, it was nuts. I mean, it's a testament to the cast, especially, and my crew, because we never sacrificed the quality of the, you know, the cinematography. And, you know, at best, the actors would get one or two takes and they better fucking nail it because we don't have the time to, you know, do 69 takes of someone walking across the room. It's like, get it right or you're fucked. <laughs> uh, that type of schedule. Especially, you know, obviously the conditions we shot in were pretty awful. With stinky, freezing cold and miserable. Thankfully, people were wearing tube tops and half shirts. Nah, I was fucking, they were all miserable. I don't know how they do it. Up there? I would yeah, you my shit. Oh, okay. But but I, I just wonder, I haven't seen this genre in 25 years, and I just wanted to thank you. Before I come in here, I, I just wanted to thank you for a beautiful, character driven community. <laughs> I love thank you. you. 25 years. <laughs> These pants, I don't know. Uh, there's only these, this one pair. Um, <laughs> truthfully, the, the idea started about three years ago. I was doing this Halloween event called The Great American Nightmare in uh, uh, Pomona. 
And I'm just standing around watching people and getting super scared. And you know, it's like a typical thing. It was like clowns running around chainsaws and people like freaking out. I was like, people still get freaked out by clowns with chainsaws. <laughs> and uh, that's really what started the idea. It sounds so stupid, but that's true. Anybody else questions? Right there. No, this is the R-rated version. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, what do we want to fucking do? You try to get a fucking NC-17 movie in theater. Not possible. We have to censor it for adults. They're all children. Censors. Well, was there more to that? Yeah, there is. What did the FDA require you to censor? There was four things in particular. There was, uh, what was it? Too much uh, chainsaw between the girl's legs on the on the mattress that kind of get cut down. Oh. That was a lot worse. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I think the knife was twisting around in Meg's ribs too long. Um, when Charlie's slicing uh, Sex Head's throat, they were, that was more graphic. It was all, it was all shit like that. You know, I'm sure you can guess. Everything you saw was worse before. <laughs> <laughs> That was like never happening. That thing that, no, what happened was, uh, it's a long story, it was never gonna happen. It may still happen someday, but it was like somebody announced it, it was even close to being made, and I've been answering that question for nine years. So, maybe someday, I'm kind of bored with the answer, but the script actually was better. So. Could be cool. Oh, dude. <laughs> Way back. This is my first time in Utah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Mine too, thank you, sir. <laughs> Yeah, I've never been, well, I've been here before. I've never been to something yet, probably since I showed a movie. <laughs> right here? Um, are you going to release an uncensored version? Yeah, I mean, eventually on DVD, it's all fair. Nobody cares. I mean, that's the thing with the theatrical. It's really uptight, you know? You could do uncensored on freaking HBO. They don't give a shit. But you go to theaters, and suddenly it's all uptight. So yeah, our rate will go to theaters, and eventually, you know, the uh, unrated will be on DVD someday. Six months. <laughs> right there. Okay, so first off, I'm a huge fan of both your movies and your music, and with all of your movies, I'm oh. sort of where do you find the inspiration for your characters, because you're all such unique characters? I mean, they're just, it sounds ridiculous, but they are all based on people I know and things I've done. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not even joking. I mean, growing up, like the business that my parents were in, and all my family was the carnival business, and all my family were carnies, and they literally did things like yank kids' fucked up arms out of the gears of a total tilt to world. This is the shit we did as kids. So they were all based on real people, strange enough. And the girl into gorilla thing that Roscoe goes on about was a real thing. I remember sitting to his little kid, this girl in a bikini gets in the cage, lights get all crazy, and then a gorilla pops out. So, this shit is fucking reality. <laughs> it's my reality. Oh, so was it hard to direct this scene for your wife with having to pretend to be in such turmoil? She wasn't pretending. <laughs> she was in turmoil the whole everybody was. If everybody looks miserable, they were, trust me. Because especially in the scene um, when the goons attacked the RV, it was like 10 below zero, and they're wearing nothing, and they were frozen solid, and everybody was pissed off and angry because they all hated my guts, and I, I hated my guts by that point. And um, yeah, no, it was, it was a miserable shoot. I mean, it was, it was great, we were very proud of what we did, and we all love each other, they're all here, but it wasn't fucking easy, that's for sure. Because everybody thinks it's easy, like, hey, cover me in blood, that'll be awesome, and then two minutes later, they're like, can I wash this shit off, it's cold, bro. No, it's gonna be on here for two more weeks, I'm sorry. Right there? Two questions. Yeah. Uh, can I get a selfie with you? First question. Second After I'm done. Okay, second question. So where was it shot? Where was it? It was all shot in California, all of it. Um, some of it was in Hollywood at the place called Willow Street. Some of it was in an abandoned power plant. It was uh, somewhere on Canyon Country where the gas station was and Lucky Leo's and all that shit. Yeah. I forget the exact location. They're there. <laughs> Is there, would you like to bring anybody down now or continue? Well, it was like, the, uh, everybody in the back stand up. It was, 
you know, everybody's here. Uh, Sherry, and, uh, <laughs> Sherry Lou Gondi, E.G. Daly, Richard Gray, Chip Daly, Phillips, Kevin Jackson, Meg Foster, the DP State, Daniel, Lou Temple, Lisa Gary, everybody's here. Poncho, come down here and talk to the fans. What do you think about you? I didn't forget anybody. See, I didn't want to say everyone's name, so anyway. Who did I forget that's going to hate me now? Devin. That was the girl who did not enjoy being strapped to the mattress. She thought it was going to be fun. And it wasn't fun, was it? No, it wasn't. It's fun now. It was fun now. All right, any more questions? Yes. What does it mean No. Which credit is that?